I have been waiting to do this one. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hey guys, what's going on? Carl here, back with another episode, sitting in the living room as it is the 2019 living room tour. I can't wait to share this one with you. We've been in the new condo for almost one year and there have been a ton of upgrades, but also not as many as I would have wanted. It's just the hecticness of life, doing of course YouTube, the full-time job, the tons of traveling, and of course just not getting to spend as much time in this place as I'd like. So to kick things off, let's talk about what you see behind me as that is the main centerpiece and this couch is where I like to moss, chill, and spend my free time, my very limited amounts. The theme or design of my condo is super minimal yet practical and of course modern. Behind me, which is a piece of tech that I've had for over a year and a half now, it's the Hisense 4K laser TV and it is a hundred inches. I've of course tested out TVs 65, 75, even 85 inches. This guy dwarfs them and it just doesn't compare. Even though I wouldn't say the image quality is the best, it is in 4K, even though it's a short throw projector, you do see where the console unit is sitting on my TV table. Not as saturated, blacks aren't as deep, and even on a sunny day like today, you can see some of the glare coming in. It is a bit hard, but I'm willing to sacrifice all that for the size, especially at night when you're watching a movie, when you're kicking back watching some Netflix, playing a bit of Fortnite, getting dominated by you guys, it is all better on a bigger display. And this guy probably won't get replaced until I get, say, a 100-inch OLED or maybe the Samsung 219-inch The Wall, which would not fit here. Along the TV console and most of my furniture, I'll leave linked down below, is from a company called Caligaris. Yes, they are pricey. I traded one of my kidneys for them, but it's made out in Italy, beautifully made. Doesn't have any of the cheap particle board stuff from Ikea. Yes, expensive, but I've moved past my student days. I've got a bit of extra income and I wanted pieces that would not only last, but are also are very different than what everyone else has. And that's not to say that Ikea is terrible. I still have Ikea throughout this entire place. It's just my major pieces I chose to invest in. You'll kind of see that as we tour around. Pieces of art that I will label. The first is this little TIE Fighter Lego piece right this way. On the other side, I've got an Apple HomePod, which I've got two paired in the living room. They're my main listening music device. When I'm here, I can always ask Siri for some music. Hey Siri, play the latest Nora and Pure podcast. Also throughout, which would be my second theme or my accent color would be of course orange. If you happen to be new here, that is the color of choice if you didn't already know. Beside the TV console lives the Hisense subwoofer. That of course is wirelessly paired with the TV. And I've got two Sony speakers flanking the outside, purely aesthetic. They actually don't do anything. My dad just took the longest time building these custom stands. And once again, they look dope, minimal and modern. Don't actually do anything yet though. When I've got the TV on, they're usually paired with the two different inputs. The first is Rogers Ignite TV. This guy's kind of a game changer for watching TV. It's got a smart remote, which you can actually ask what shows to watch when you want. So when I'm looking to watch Man United, my favorite team will come up no matter how poor they are doing lately. I can get sport updates, useful that most Toronto teams have now made the playoffs. I can watch Netflix. I can essentially do everything with my voice with this guy. I've actually got a full review for Rogers. I'll leave it linked down below if you wanna go more in depth, hooking up all my fellow Canadian peeps with this one. My Xbox One X in my very, very limited amount of free time. I tend to play a bit of Fortnite here and there. I'm obviously terrible. I get dominated by most of you guys that play with me online, but I do have a sickly obsession with Xbox controllers. I've got the entire orange collection. This one is from E3, 64 out of a thousand, limited edition, happened to be with orange. I think that's a huge coincidence. And this guy has my custom gamer tag on it. Of course, deck this guy up myself on the Xbox Design Lab. 
Swinging around into the middle, this is where my coffee table sits. It's made in the same acid etched glass as the rest of my furniture. To the outside area where you see all of the windows and I'm getting all of this natural light, I do have my little reading nook. This is where I have a Dyson reading lamp when I do once again have a tad bit of free time. I do like to hang out there and a little handy piece of tech that costs 15 bucks, it's a V charged cable. It's around 10 feet, nice and long, and I can charge my iPhone, my AirPods, anything lightning related. I will leave, of course, them linked down below. Maybe one of the best buys that you can get. To this little area that you just see off of camera, this is my little tech charging station. I keep here my keys, all of my loose change, and also a Google Pixel charging stand. I use that to charge whatever device that I'm using at the time, and I've got a MacBook Arc. So my work computer, usually my MacBook Air, does live over on this side, and I grab it before I head to the office every day. Once we move away from the TV area and move into the rest of the living room, this is really where I struggle to keep things minimal because you have to make it practical as this is technically where I eat and where a lot of activities happen. Activities. Literally just me trying to play keep ups with my soccer ball. <laughs> There are two pieces of furniture that are going to be moved away from here into the new studio. That is a bit of a spoiler. I dropped one of my previous videos on that. The Barcelona chair that sits there, that is where my tech travel pack usually sits as I'm usually on the go. I just need to grab it and get out of here. And the very far table in the corner, which now has a lamp, another book arc, which contains my main MacBook Pro, and an iPad, which I kind of use for entertainment purposes. Use that to switch music as a little playlist selector when I do host a couple little shakers at my place. To the table in the middle, this is another piece that I've heavily invested in. It looks so beautiful and so different than anything else that I've seen. It's got a ceramic marbled countertop. The legs are just beautiful to look at. I take a ton of product shots over here. It's a centerpiece of the condo and once again the word dope comes to mind. It's different, it stands out, and it's beautiful. Along the far side, that's where I've got a little console table. I do keep a ton of tech in there as the studio behind me is already filling up. I've got my second HomePod over there and the piece of art I'm staring at it right now that I love to look at every day is my Lego GT3 RS and ties in my love for Porsche, for Lego, and of course orange. I think we nailed the trifecta on that one. And beside that, I have a Lenovo smart display. It's my Google Assistant and there I can glance at weather, I can check up recipes when I am cooking in the kitchen since I am usually clueless when it comes to that. And I do control all of my Philips Hue light bulbs which I forgot to mention, one is living in the lamp and I've got some light bars that do surround the couch so especially at night when I am setting the mood, I can do that and of course we've got the theme of orange or you can change that to your heart's content for whatever colorway you're looking to get. And kind of looking around, I think that is all of the tech that is in my TV and living room area. This was the very first stop of the condo tour 2019. Of course, a lot of other rooms to cover, both my bedroom, balcony, studio. There are a ton more upgrades, both incoming and what I've got in my mind, but please leave some comments down below on what I can improve on, any suggestions as I take your guys' input to heart. But I hope this video helped at least some of you out on how to decorate, how to tech out your own spot, whether you do have a living room TV area, or you can translate a lot of this into your own rooms yourself. I'll catch the rest of you in one of my next episodes or vlogs. Peace.